Monday morning, it's a new week. Here we are, building again. Making up some of that. We've got that one to fill, that one to fill, and another one to fill. So, out of the trailer, in a bucket, into there, onto the floor, shovel to there. Lovely job, joys of growing your own thing. It's just a bit of our, that bit, last bit to come through, don't come through the mill very well. But no chemical feeding. That's the only bit that we ain't got control over is this bit of high protein pig pellet we mix into the pigs and we do a little bit to the chickens, etc. So, and a few powdered minerals. Most of that straight from the farm. So, look at that mix. Lovely jubbly. Fair job today, worms and pigs after this. See some pigs outside. We'll bring their bulk feeder over. See if we've got them all. Hello, little biggies. Morning, how are you? And you? Yes. Well, I ain't shown you the cars for a little while. Hey, you're off milk now completely, aren't you? You still suck your fingers. That one was a pain in the ass. Wouldn't you? Hey, they're not looking too bad. We ought perhaps to go shopping, that's a nice one. We ought perhaps to go shopping for a couple more. Oh, it'd be ideal for going out the grass all summer. That's a nice age. Yeah. We'll get you some food you mixed up, yes. I'm just up here with the younger heifers, so these last year's ones that we've kept. So these have just been, apart from you, I think you're a steer. Yeah, don't know how we missed you. Definitely a steer. <laughs> um, so these have just been on hay, they've had nothing, no concentrate, no grains, no silage, no whole crop, just a mineral lick and hay. And there, they're not skinny, they're not fat, a little bit there, but they're not fat. They're not what I'd say pushed. Now the reason for that is when we put these out the grass, they should do, they shouldn't melt. So if you had like them on a lot, a lot of feed and put them out the grass and the grass isn't brilliant, they perhaps go backwards. But these are for replacements. So if they don't do on a hay-based, grass-based, Diet. Yes, and you're no good to us. So these will go out on some good grass as soon as the spring weather comes around, and then we'll give them as much grass as they want, especially when they get on the wash. And hopefully, they'll make some nice heifers. And hopefully next winter they'll be outside all winter and won't come in at all. If we got the, if we can keep going with that, if we've got the grass. So if anybody wants some grazing, especially with forage crops or anything like that, then maybe we can help. We've got a nice batch of, couple of batches of nice behaved cattle, nice and easy, not flighty. So, and the reason why we haven't got these out this winter, quite haven't quite got the ground to put them out. And the youngsters, they can be a little bit harder to work with when they're sort of just coming straight off their mothers. So these are now in and yeah, these are now settled down. Like you say, you can see I can walk around with them, not a problem whatsoever. And uh, they'll be easy to move around now when the spring comes round. That's it, you kick me. <laughs> but you imagine when they first come in, they're lively as anything, kicking, jumping, running. So now they're settled, they're good to go. Wait for some grass, eh? Yes, number 87. So mix of shorthorn and Angus types. Rigid. Various others, idiot. So, this, well, head scratch. So you can see how nicely they tamed down. Oh, head scratch. Yes. They're just not bothered. Look. Nice and steady. That's what we want. Hello. 
How are you? Morning. You're not going to be long, are you? I'm going to need to move you. Another couple of weeks. So she's not intimate, but she won't be long before she before she drops. Where you go? You mix up the calf food. So this is just homegrown straight wheat. This is for the free bucket calves. So I know say we don't do grain fed um, bullocks, but if your calves don't get something, just milk and hay, they're not going to grow and they need a bit more protein than that. So we do a bit of a mix. So this is one part of the mix. I'll show you the rest. Then have some minerals with two double handfuls. So this, I've got wheat stuck in the bottom of the bucket, but this is a mineral. So a little bit of protein beans in there as well. But that's everything that the cow needs. They get two handfuls of that. And then they get some of this. This is from our local feed mill, Beats. There's a big lump of molasses in there. And then I'll mix it all by hand together and that lasts them three or four days. So you can see you've got just protein pellets and maize, peas. So more wheat and barley and that in there. That's at 16%, but they really like it. It's full of molasses and it's really sweet for them. So with that and some nice soft hay, that's what they're getting and they'll get that until they go out the grass and then they won't get it again so but young animals you've got to think they're not on their mother they're not getting their mother's milk they're not out yomping away on grass because the grass wouldn't give them anything and they would look really quite sickly and quite poor quite quickly so to make sure that these calves grow and they do and they get the development and the ruminants because they've got to remember free stomachs and all that have all got to work if you choose the right bacterias, this is what they'll get till they go out. So now I'm going to mix all of that together. And it is all mixed up. 50% homegrown, 50% not. And they're hungry. There you go, they must have run out yesterday afternoon. All oh, having a munch. I'm on this ad lib so ad lib. That just basically goes in there. That'll last three or four days. And they'll eat away. Just started getting a few eggs and I haven't seen words all much this morning. I had 14 eggs in this bucket. Mm. So my fried breakfast has gone to Wurzel. Thank you. Wurzel, you egg thieving bugger. They're my eggs. What you took my eggs for? Hmm? Why? You're pain in the butt. Meg doesn't, Nick. It's only you, isn't it? Don't you remember that Johnny Cash song about the egg thieving dog, eh? Hey, don't nick my eggs. <laughs> Next generation of layers are doing well. Remember these from chicks? Hey, okay. got some more coming in five weeks. Not any more layer chicks. We have sold a couple. Just because we'll break the batch sizes up, so we'll just do a few less, different ages. Keep us going. There you go. In, in, in. Bit of silage, yes please, let me get stuck into that. Nom 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 nom. Old crop size for the piggies. Water at speed. The girlies. batch, remember little ones there, but put a piece of sheet of tin out there next to the feeder and um, that allows the rat somewhere to build and hide and then we can come down and move that and um, hopefully if we've got any rats in there we can cull a few rats up. If I'm correct in thinking these are four weeks old tomorrow. I believe I've still got everyone not seeing any any dead ones on the daily inspections. Boy, ain't they growing. See the width between the front legs, look. And they're standing there, they just scroll in. Nice big feet, look at the size of them. Nice double breast on the front. These are not false, these are just gonna grow at a steady pace. So, when they're a little bit older, they'll go on a corn fed only diet but they'll probably do another 
another bag of chick crumbs or, or growers pellets and that will get mixed in slowly into the wheat and then they'll just be on wheat so hopefully weather a change and we can get some make some chicken runs for fully outside and these will get a, an outside run uh, just want to see what this weather wants to do this week because it's a bit cold and a bit wet so you want these only say four weeks tomorrow so they could soon get soon get a chill so they're pretty shaded in here look so just a bit of top air but pretty pretty nice environment and these will be for your table Pig food. That pig going on a little while. That <laughs> gives us a dough, we've got milled a lot of it. That 10 ton of barley. Talk about free range. Go on, big arm, will ya? Hmm, they're giving me a nightmare. The mother giving me a nightmare. That's a four out of the bucket. So we've weaned them, but the week before we weaned them, they've gone there. Week before we weaned them, um, so I just got to open the gate. Not going to show you that number. Um, the mother just getting out every single day. No reason. Plenty of food. Just, just turned into um, an absolute nightmare. Why can't I do that? It's the right number. Yep. Um, turned into a right nightmare. And now we can't catch the piglets. We caught the sour, and that was a, a mission and a half. But they can do a lot of damage. They're still out there, look, right out there in the distance. Can't see them, but they're still there. So, yeah, anyway, we'll have to come down at night time and catch them while they're sleeping, because they can't be doing that all day long. So it's Wednesday today, anyway, I'm off to take down them grain bins. <coughs> it's a bit wet and the boys are gonna go plowing, so bit of a two-man job on them bins but if we both go there there's been one person working and one person sort of not so I'll probably go get a load of bolts undone he might have come down for an hour get the top layer off but they're not overly heavy I think I can probably manage on my own so move these cows to the rest of the field oh and we've got a sheep so there's a sheep in the area we don't think it's ours but anyway it's here so Hmm. I suppose we'll round it up and who's not can eat it because we're now sheepless currently at the moment which is nice and we'll probably buy some store lambs so we're not going to lamb this year it's just not fitting in with, with us with the boy at the age that he is but can you see it? yep, I'm sheep anyway, let's get these moved you can sort of clearly see what I can they've eaten so we'll wheel this all the way up to the end there, there's another wire, pick that up, and they've got all of that. Who wants to evict them to get it ready for hay? Give it maybe an hour or something, you see. I think they're finally learning to um, move. Well, some of them are, some are a bit thick, they're still on the side of the fence. <coughs> Told you we had a sheep. Can you see it? No? There it is, look. Hmm. Don't know where that's come from. There's been a few run, there's a great big ram running around, but but it was massive. condition looks a bit looks a bit ropey and lean so half of the cows have come through gone to a nice bit of green grass and half the cows stay behind hmm numpties the gate is to your right my left over there they're gonna spend ages trying to see what they can do with the barbed wire and get through pick these poses up <coughs> Get on. Go 
on, these are all the village idiots. The grass is the other side of the fence. Go on. No, you've got to go forward to go round. Oh, these are really, really stupid. Go on. You know where the gate is, you've been walking through it all week. Go on. Go on. Get, 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 get. Even that calf's got more brains than its mother. Ah! This is my hooter. It's not very good, is it? <coughs> a bit mucky. The, um, they're going down to the pond, but they're mostly mucky because they come out of the shed. So, well, out of the crew yard, these ones. So that's why they've got a bit of muck up the sides. A few veins on them. Um, now I'll soon clean up. These are working style cows, so a little bit lean this on and coming through the winter isn't too bad. Yeah, I think they're going to suss it. I'm starting to get an odd egg. We did cull some of the hens off, some of the oldest hens off over winter. Otherwise, it doesn't eat me eggs, I'll get a few more. So we're now just up there. Minerals and proteins a little bit, just to get enough to make it worthwhile. So we ain't gonna get anywhere near enough. So we did probably start with pushing a hundred. Now we're down to twenty of the younger hens. We have skies, look. We're lucky with our skies up here. See the cows, so relaxed. Oh, and our new sheep. And he's dealing with us, he's flickering his tail. <sighs> Nightmare to catch. If, if at all possible. The cows are good. You can hear her coming. Black grass around, so what we're aiming for, black grass and voluntary. What's that? Move all this around. So we just go over it once and then we might go over it again. Just a couple of times, but I don't want it to dry out either. So it's not very dry and weather at the minute, so I think we'll be safe. Movements like that and get rid of some of that in the keel, so maybe just a gentle once over. Sounds like you burn loads of diesel, but not really smoking much, so I'm handling it fine. Probably doesn't need to go quite as deep as what he is. No, he doesn't need to go as deep as what he is, he's working a bit too deep. Yeah, he just is outside disc. These are reasonably new to us, we've hardly used them really, so let's see what he looks like when he comes back up. There he goes off, that's all for the meat land. Oh, that 
powerhouse. I'm taking as much power, or as slow as a powerhouse, eh? burning less diesel, covering more ground. The powerhouse would do a slightly better job in one go, but it's getting in a bit deeper, so I'm good pleased with that. Friday morning. We've got a resident sheep. We've got Operation Turtle Dub, I hope, coming out today. Um, we spotted some turtle doves. Hello, Bridget. Spotted some turtle doves on the farm last year, which I'm really excited about. We've worked a lot of years in the past as well with Operation Turtle Dove and never seen a turtle dove. Just <laughs> checking um, to see what they've got there. Probably we've got off here this weekend, I think. Um, so hopefully they're coming out this morning. They just send an email saying yesterday I've not heard that we still come in. I didn't reply, so fingers crossed they'll be here at 11. We'll get on with some home farm duties till then. But the cows are looking good. Still got a bit to munch on, and then I want to take them off of this. And then we're just debating as well on whether um, we actually grow fodder beets. So we're just looking at a fodder beet seed, and for some of these seeds, they're coming in astronomical prices um, and I don't know I know there's a lot of crop to it but it means I've got to put my hand a long way in my pocket which I don't really want to do type farmer syndrome maybe um, so maybe we'll we'll look at barley and vetch or some, um, cover crops maybe Maybe I'll grow like a silage barley or a combinable barley and vetch together, which will give us the nitrogen that we need and higher proteins for pig feed. And then follow that straight on with a cover crop and give that a bit of attention to detail. And um, I'm trying to have a walk to see what the grass is doing that we've left to recover. Um, not a lot in this colder weather, but it ain't freezing, it's just cold. Um, so that's an option for us is to because if, the, if we put fodder beet in and it doesn't do so well without us putting nitrogen on, it could be quite an expensive crop to grow for not enough return. Sorry, it's windy out here now. You might be able to see that, but we've green it up where we've been off of it, but there's nothing on here really for, for them to get a good feed on. <coughs> it's, it's coming. So is spring, but if we have this cold snap come, we could struggle to get enough enough to put the cows back in. Time will tell. Just a cow pat, nothing exciting for a lot of you. Look at all the little larvae and that that are in there. Now you imagine you had chickens scratching around on here. I bet a lot of these little bugs. maggots or some of them look like maggots some larvas Can you imagine chickens in there now they've got to be what 60 70 80 percent protein them little little things there imagine the color of the eggs so something we want to do this year because i just think that would be amazing but this bird flu is a is a really scary topic but surely they've they've got to get to an inoculation and get to the bottom of this because the amount of people are going out of business anyway we'll see what this year brings <coughs> my heart up. just coming to check on and see whether we're running the power hour over this it's going to be worth it or not i'm only going in a little ways the power is moving fairly quickly just move the um black grass around but never Waste of our time. Sorry, I should be doing that in front of the camera. Pull a few roots up. Might have to just move it a few times. Not all black grass, and I'm not overly worried because I just need to knock it back so that dies off and we have got a frost coming in a couple of days so we'll get some roots to the top the frost frost could kill them so it'd be nice if it was a nice sunny day but we've really got to get on we've got plenty things to do we're going shopping next week yes 
that hurts. So um, next Sunday we're off, probably leaving about four o'clock in the morning. Yeah, that's farmer shopping for you. And we're heading a little way off. And we're gonna buy something or some things. So be quite exciting. It's um, yeah, it's a few things. So if that all goes to plan, which in farming that doesn't always happen. But if that all goes to plan, we're going to um, pick up some things. We've been shopping a couple of times just recently, so um, we bought something else as well the other day. Um, you can all have a guess what it is, but yeah, we um, spent a little bit of a little bit of hard-earned money. So we bought something else, which will turn up on the farm in a few weeks. Um, it's not quite ready to come here yet. Um, and we ain't quite put the finances together to buy it so that happened over the next next few weeks and we'll pick that up and Sunday we're going shopping which I'm really 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 quite excited about so um, it's all really to help this next generation get a start in what we do so and hopefully he'll appreciate that and work hard and um, contribute towards a little bit of wages for him at the end of the end of a period and uh because farming is never about money tomorrow's all long term but also allow him to have some maybe capital in the future so that he can invest in areas that he wants to anyway we're now down so this is saturday morning tomorrow we've got a farmer's market but we're just drive around i've just been fed everything i'm just going to go and check up i want to make sure everything's done right and then i'm going home for lunch do a bit of blogging on facebook get some posts out for next week or two and i'll be back out again this afternoon and might move the heifers so still plenty to get on with i'm just gonna have a look at these cows well just a quick drive so operation turtle up yesterday they were really pleased with some of the work with our dikes and our field margins and our the way that we've meal and the way that we've looked after birds over the last few years and sort of yellow hammer especially being on the farm in big numbers and they're on the red list so just things like that air carpies um, and the amount of songbirds and finches and everything else we get we ought to, we ought to put a little trial camera up and um still got a resident sheep <laughs> we ought to put a bit of a, a field camera up and um sort of see what birds we really have got I'll be getting involved with this bird survey but it just makes us want now to put a bit more you're looking a bit a bit lean she hasn't she's just starting to oh she's got a calf on a front cow so you look a bit too lean because you've got twins in you she's got a calf on her so that's her calf there that white cow's calf that's really boring nothing's calf lately Hang on. Morning Fast Track, how are you today? You gonna get up so I can have a look at you please? Not to stand up if I'm worried about them. Come on girl, up you get. Up! Up! Good girl. I'll just down to the bottom of the pond. Still not bagging up. I thought she was further along than that and she's supposed to be scanned with twins. White Galloway. She's grass as a rigid, but I'm not sure she's got something else in her, but she's got pedigree as a, as a rigid Galloway. She, she didn't take to the ball last year, young heifer. So she's been back to the ball again, and then she's on. If she don't take this year, she'll be sauce for burgers. Come on, let's get up. Come on, get up, girl. young cows got a bit of other development not much I think they're still a little way off everybody and there's a the scabby lamb let's get around everybody else speed these are growing now hey Meg guess what you're doing up there watching the chickens yes Sunday morning 
move this lot. <laughs> so we've put a path all the way down there. Just nip out onto the side of the road and they're going into there, so it's not very far. But I know they don't like the wire, so I don't know whether they're gonna walk through for me or not. I'm hoping so. But I bet there'll be two or three that don't. I know the wire's there somewhere. Go on, walk down. Fresh grass. They know I'm here to move them, so that helps a little bit. Yeah. Then them ones are going to be a problem. My shoulder hurts, I can't lift it up forever. So, problem now is, don't go out that way. Taking that all down, so they're either now going to step over it. They don't like it, look. <laughs> well, that's really good that they don't like it because. Oh, I thought she was in the other fellow, actually. She'll go in a minute. No worries, they're going to go straight down for water. Step in the dike, they want a drink. Hey! Come on, walk up. Hey! Another Sunday job. It was three weeks ago when they must have come here. So we haven't eaten it. But it's still left. But we said we wouldn't go too hard on it. So hop, hop. You can get the water from the other side. Go on. You got water in a minute. You can step down the next ditch. Hop, hop, hop. Granddaughter help me. She's sitting in the Land Rover. I said, if a cow's come, close the door. And she's there sitting. Otherwise, I'm on my own. Come on, walk along, walk along. Walk along. Up, up. I know there's plenty more, I could have left you here for a couple of hours, but I don't know where you're going to end up. Good. This way, I've got control over you. Loads of grass where you're going, anyway. Up, 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 up. I'll be quick afterwards. I've got to take all of this down when they get to where they're going. <laughs> we haven't fully finished putting the post up, but I don't think they... Oh, oh. Can't stop lingering. Oh. I'm not too worried, but... No, no, no. Go on, keep going. Keep going.
always one. Yeah, this is the wrong place. This is going to be a right pain. Jumping over. Hey! Hey up! Quiet, Emily, quiet! Hey! Don't go back, don't go back, don't go back! Tricky up here now because you've got a dog barking. Go up! Help! Help! Go up! Go on, turn around, turn around, help! The two of you is a little bit easier. Looking wild, though, aren't they? Yeah, even they've already grazed this. Go on, cows. You getting out? Where are you come? There's a handle inside. Hey! I'm do the handle. You've got my granddad now. Stay behind, Granddad, though. There they go. All right, let's go and move the Land Rover and pick some posts up. Cross for the power leave that, see what the weather does to it, for those that are interested, look how well that's come down, if it's sprayed with Roundup, which we don't do, then it would, basically we could have just drilled straight into that and that'd be fine, but weather's a bit cold next week, so we'll leave it, um, we'll leave it a week and then we'll move it again and we'll probably just move it and drill it and we'll see what see what the grasses and the weed seeds do. 